Hi, my name is Spencer Grant, and welcome to a special episode of Four Trees. If you caught the last special episode, then you know what's going on, and if not, surprise! Some friends and I decided to try out the Warrior Cats Adventure Game, an officially licensed tabletop RPG based on the Warrior Cats universe, and have a little fun with a one-shot. If you haven't heard the last episode, I suggest doing so now so you can jump into this one without much issue. If you have heard the last episode but you've just forgotten about it, allow me a synopsis. Last week, we met our protagonists, Skunk Pelt, Mild Gust, Dream Belly, and Pushing Things Off the Edge's Piss Whisker at the Gathering. A terrible plague, or plague if you're pedantic, Beige Cough has taken over the forest, and only these four warriors, ThunderClan's quote-unquote finest, have stepped up to help. Well, also ShadowClan's medicine cat, this irritable lady called Bud Light. Together, these cats must follow the river to the Crying Hill, and find enough of a herb, or herb if you're pedantic, called Feverfew to bring back to the forest. Along the way, they'll encounter trials, troubles, and all kinds of tribulations, but as far as they're concerned, it's a chance to test their mettle. Also, a few technical notes to keep in mind. Since this was a spur-of-the-moment recording session, it means that I didn't have any time to get them to record their own audio or do a better job setting up my own. You may hear Discord notifications, ringtones, other commotion going on in the background, and low-quality audio from most of the participants. That's more or less unavoidable, but it's been mitigated as much as possible by Alex, who offered to do post-sound. As for the game, the module we were playing is loosely based off the Fever Dream scenario, and we decided that the game would be more enjoyable for us if we added in probability such as dice rolls. I didn't really have much more than the Cliff Notes version of the scenario, so I went fairly off script depending on what we thought was fun. And one more thing, if you have a hard time telling voices apart in a group of people, I invite you to watch this episode on YouTube, where I have set up an audio visualizer so as to help you tell each person apart. The link will be in this episode's description. With that in mind, I invite you to join my four friends on their warrior cat journey in this bonus episode of Four Trees. Anything before we left in the morning? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I would like to talk to the medicine cat and get more information on the virus. Even though I'm pretty dumb, I'd like to know things to look out for. All right. So you uh, head on over to Fluff Whiskers then. Fluff Whisker is preparing a, a, a little hodgepodge of traveling herbs for you, uh, but. He is happy to see you and looks up and uh, greets you with the twitch of his whiskers. He's like, hey, what's up, skunk pelt? How are you doing? I'm a little nervous about going on this uh, this trip. I'm just kind of restless. And I guess I'd like to know more about uh, this beige cough that's been going around and, and ways to prevent, treat, or notice when it's around. Well, that's a really good question that you've asked. And hey, can I just say, I'm glad that you've asked it. <laughs> oh, my God. What? Nothing. Go, go ahead. <laughs> it's, a, it's a beautiful question. You've done a good job. Now, the main uh, symptoms of beige cough are a high temperature. He touches uh, his, uh, his tail to your forehead for a bit. Uh, this means it, it, could, it not, might not necessarily be on your forehead. It could be around your ears or even on your back or the tip of your tail. Uh, if you are having a new continuous cough, <laughs> so <it's been> <laughs> three, or, three or more <laughs> coughing episodes nice. in 24 hours, or if you, you normally have a cough, it might be worse than usual. Why is it called cat coronavirus? It's not called because... Oh, uh, you said it. Uh, but I just want to say that moment where you're saying, what a great question, is when you were looking up on like, the NHS website. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 a loss or change to your sense of smell or taste. Oh, really? This means that... Well, my sense of smell is... Uh, I, I smell pretty bad. That's a big deal for a cat, though. 
Yeah. Yeah. So you'll notice right away. Okay. You can. We'll treat you like a canary. <laughs> That's what you got to know about the uh, the the beige cough. It's a dangerous. Thank you. It's very dangerous though. It, it completely decimates your immune system. You know, uh, basically, once you get it, if you don't have enough white blood cells, you're kind of like screwed. You know? Do you know? Right. I don't know if you went to medicine uh, cat. If you minored no, in medicine I, cat. No, I flunked. I flunked out of um, most school. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, it is a shame. All right, well, I'm sure you'll uh, be fine. But uh, thanks for the information. I'll retain maybe 60% of it. Thanks a lot. All right, yeah, no worries. <laughs> Have a good trip. Mm. All right, anything else you guys want to do to prepare, aside from eat? I'm passed out. Okay. I'm gone. I think I should fight someone. Uh, who do you want to fight? Oh, who's around? Uh, well, you are in Thunderclan camp. Do you want me to read out the roster I made in a, in a frantic hurry oh. as soon as you guys said that you wanted Wait, to play the cat no. game? <laughs> Maybe, maybe I'm walking back from my trip. I'm not using the, like... Oh, can I fight, I'd like to fight Firestar. Firestar, is, uh, these are original cats. Firestar is not present. I'd like to fight Thunderstar. Thunderstar is not present. Screw... Redstar. Yeah, these are, I'm not, I'm not using canon characters. Tiger Pell. Tiger Star. No. Pine Star. Doe Star. Thunderstar. Blue Star. <laughs> Firestar. Alright. Bramble Star. You the... can't fight oh, any stars. Don't fight any stars. Uh, let's see. So the Brown leader star, is, is Silent Poison star. star, Ghost Star, yeah. Dark Star. Who, who, is, who is the leader then? I assume it will be a star, something star. Silent Star, yes. Uh, and then the deputy yeah. is Green Claw. And the warriors are Rabbit Tail, Frost Flame, Pink Nose, Black Fur, White Claw, Curl Whisker, Ivy Step, and Hoot Song. Okay. Wow. And uh, there are some mommies, uh, Thornbush and Dawn Sky, uh, and some elders, Branchfall, uh, Suncloud, ah. and Garfield. <laughs> I like what does Garfield look like? What? Yeah, what does Garfield look like? Garfield, Garfield is a is a fat tabby cat with a lot of mm. attitude. What, what day of the week? Does he would, not you maybe, like... would you maybe describe it as catitude? I would probably describe it as catitude. You'd be uh, right to do so. And uh, he really has it out for Sundays. He can't stand Sunday because oh. he doesn't believe in the Lord. Yeah, you're okay. copyright safe. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> no, Gar like will the Garfield, fish. And will then Garfield go to Star Clan when he dies? Garfield will go to Star Clan when he dies. He doesn't love the Lord. He loves Star Clan. Star Clan is not the Lord. There's a very big okay. theological oh. difference between. Oh, cool. Christianity and uh, its corporate religions and uh, ancestor worship, thankfully. I'm, I'm glad. So yeah, Garfield, uh, real real cat in this universe, uh, and he's an elder. He is an old man, so if you want to fight him, I mean, you'll probably win, but you might not. Yeah, fight. I'd like to fight Garfield. All right. Uh, but like, 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 not in the traditional sense, like a, a lasagna eating competition. Oh, sorry, I don't know if sorry, we have any lasagna. Like, yeah. Lasagna? Yeah, I don't know if we have any lasagna in the. the That's really disappointing. Do you, do you wanna? Do you wanna spend decades inventing cheese for the I cat? I mean, I mean, the cat lives in the world. Wait, 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 some from some uh, two legs. Yeah, there is a two leg place nearby. Yeah, I know my way in. Oh yeah, some lasagna from that. You guys wanna do a quick detour to steal some lasagna from the two leg place so you can have a lasagna eating <laughs> competition with Garfield the Elder? That that is. Why else will we be playing? That's a good <laughs> if that's an option, I am. What else really I, I think oh, the chances God. of that being successful are incredibly, incredibly slow. Yeah, oh, you that have makes to figure out what lasagna is for starters. Keep in mind, you're you're oh. cats. You don't necessarily understand that the concept of lasagna. Also, okay. I'm pretty sure lasagna would be pretty dietarily awful for a cat. <laughs> it would be terrible. All I'm hearing here oh. is people putting up barriers. <laughs> yeah, this is this is game. This game's supposed to be about saying yes, All isn't right. it? Uh, yeah. right. Yes, yes, and. yes, and right. Yes, and. Yeah. All right. Uh, cool? So, how are you approaching us with this um, piss whisker? Yeah, piss whisker. How are you trying to get us to? Do lasagna quest. Oh, uh, I want lasagna, and and he likes lasagna, so let's get some lasagna. What's lasagna? <laughs> it's like um, it's like it's like a big food. It's a, a big, big food. food. It's good. Like one of them big foods, like that we could take with us on our trip. Yeah, well, okay. maybe it does reheat pretty well. <laughs> you guys can find a microwave out in the wild. You might be able to. Yeah, yeah. So, how will this help with our quest, Piss Whisker? Oh, um, well. Garfield gave me a funny look. Um, you can speak now. I, I, I didn't. I 
I can speak more because it was I was really struggling to think of how to talk at all. I just have not talked if, if we kept like that. So you think um, Garfield gave oh, you a piss, funny look? Piss Whisker, who can barely talk, is trying to convince us that we need to go to a two-legged civilization and steal food from them so that we can have an eating competition <laughs> with Garfield. The elder Why Garfield. I don't think I don't think he'll be able to communicate that. Oh. Um, <laughs> I'm Are willing we... to accept the communication part, but I'm not we... convinced that we need to. Lasagna, right? It's it's good, and then and then food, and then we'll be nice and full for our journey. You know, if if um Dream Belly was awake, he would be backing you up, but he is like in danger of vomiting and dying in his sleep right now. So I wouldn't. I'd be Wait, somebody turn him sideways. Yeah, you better do that. That's what. That's what. That's what. What's he, what's it, is it pink nose? That's what they're for. They're like literally like my servant. They just keep me alive and stop me <laughs> killing myself. Because I was on food. Um. Well, I think Dream Belly's had enough food to last. I don't know the rest of his life, however long that is. Um, <laughs> Maybe ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm. I think this would be a fun thing to do after we um, resolve this beige cough. Flight on our people. Yeah. But I don't right. see this being the cure. Now, have you considered that maybe you just haven't got an open enough mind? Have you considered that? It happens sometimes, though. What? It happens sometimes, isn't it? You find you have not an open yeah. enough mind. It, it does happen sometimes. I usual. don't know what I'm saying. I can tell. Um, I don't think any of us are very convinced, and I and. Malika says, um, okay, um, just be ready by morning to head out to Four Trees, okay? I'm so proud uh, of you guys. gonna say, no, that's stupid, and walk away. Oh. I'm so, I'm so well, proud of you guys, can I, I just say? What are you proud of <laughs> Saying no to the stupid detour this time. <laughs> no, you cannot get a rocket launcher. That is my own All of our combined energy to say no to the lasagna adventure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, as the, uh, the the morning light filters through the uh, uh, bracken shafts of the Thunder Clan den, you all rise up, blinking in the sun, uh, wrapped in the invisible wire of fate. You uh, awaken together, make eye contact, and set out to leave the camp. As you uh, head towards the four, uh, the, the four uh, four great oaks in the center of the forest. You drink in all of the smells of the rest of the forest, of Thunder Clan, of even that crappy River Clan and Shadow Clan who you border. Just to make sure that in case you never come back, you feel like you won't be missing very much. When oh. you uh, head to Four Trees, it is, at this point, sun high, and you find Bud Light uh, sitting beneath the Great Rock, waiting expectantly for you. She uh, comes up to greet you, but doesn't say anything. Oh. Okay, well, uh, now, now there's been a long enough silence that she feels uncomfortable like <laughs> and starts to speak. Yes, the Canadian standoff. Um, <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Bud Light. Um, y'all ready to go? Yeah. Uh, ready as we'll ever be. Dream Bay, they wouldn't burps. They wouldn't let me get lasagna. I just want to take this second real quick to, like, say sorry about how I was behaving last night. You know how it is, there's like a bunch of cats there, all of them are sick. I don't know why we keep having gatherings, considering that there's a, an actual plague going on. But, you know, it's just, it's a, there's a lot of peer pressure, makes you uncomfortable, makes you feel like you gotta act out in front of everybody so that you can, you know, uh, maintain the, the facade of the, being a, a good Shadow Clan cat that, you know, is, is violent and stuff. It's a lot of pressure, and I just wanted to say sorry. Uh, you are forgiven. Um... Us and the Thunder Clan do not hold as strong grudges as other clans may do. Well, see, now that's racist. <laughs> see, I, 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 don't apologize to this guy. He's just, he's just. I'm not even going to speak to him. I'm only going to speak to you guys around him. Okay. D are you mis? Are you intentionally uh mis? Oh, well, I'm misgendering them. Yeah, pronouns. Oh no! Like, I, did, a, I did a bad a she thing. Cat. She is a, a shadow well, clan kind of, medicine well, cat. It, <sighs> Is this Bud Light? Who are we talking to? Bud Light is Bud female. Light is a female medicine Butter, cat from Shadow Clan. Oh, I thought we were talking to the other cat. No. <laughs> Which other cat? The angry There's cat. There's only been one cat. This is the angry right, cat. Right, angry right. last night, but that right, was just because she I'll felt be she needed to put on like a, a face. No, sorry, Bud Light. I didn't mean to miss Chandy. Bud Light flicks I, I get, I get, um, the the pressures of of people around you, and I, I'll, I'll forgive you. I don't know who you are. Are we ready to set off? She asks. 
Uh, oh, I, I believe so. Lasagna. Ignore, <laughs> ignore Piss Whisker. Done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With uh, without much ceremony, she uh, directs you towards the River Clan stream, and uh, begins to walk alongside it. After a, 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 another long, uncomfortable pause, she asks you guys about how the prey's been running, because she can't think of another question. I don't know how much. The prey usually smells me, and I'm not very good at it. Yeah, I let the tea legs do the hunting for me. Or pink nose gets me rats. Sorry, wait, what? So I wouldn't know either. You're, you're a kitty. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it's, that's not my whole thing. Hey, so you know that's, like, illegal, okay. right? Oh, God, I oh, mean, yeah, it's fine. It's like a yeah, double yeah. agent thing. It's all good. A double agent thing? Do the no, other Thunder Clan cats know about this? No, I talk about it all the time. I mean, it's not like official. Wait, what the f? Really? What? Wait, I, I literally talked about this in front of all I've never people. really talked to you that much before. I don't what? talk to anybody, really. Except for. Uh, well, it's because they don't want to talk to you. Except so. for Ivy Step. That's true, Ivy Step. Yes, Stout. yes. Yeah, um... Well, Bud Light has a little bit of a, a, a snort. It says, mumbles something about ThunderClan letting anyone in these days. And, We're inclusive. Uh, it's I a good thing. I would say if there is a cat that is eating clan from the uh, food from the clan and also food from the two legs, that's a little bit more on the border of, um, what's the word? Selfish? Yeah, so, yeah, that's That me. might not be very good. Hey, on the chonker scale, how chonky is uh, <laughs> he's, he's a chonky he's, boy. I don't know what to tell you, John. A, he's, a seen... lot he's coming. Hey, so, <laughs> would you describe him as thick? Hey, we have Piss Whisker and... No, uh, Piss Whisker's just jacked. He's jacked. He's oh, like... <laughs> okay, okay, never no, mind. Yeah. I feel, I feel like you've just assumed that because I was obsessed with lasagna, but no, I'm not fat. <laughs> I, think, I think I did, a little bit, a little bit I did. Similarly to my August, I think a strong wind could push me over because my, my like, um, what's it called? You know, my weight distribution is just all over the place. Like, I wouldn't put me on any thin beams. Are you wider than you are? <laughs> like a big old tuna can. <laughs> 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 I've been thinking about. I think you should leave with Miss Robinson. This Miss with with Tim Robinson this entire time. It's an, it's an incredible <laughs> show. Otto, have you seen? I think oh, you should leave. What? I can't Otto, have you. you seen? I think you should leave. No. Oh my God, dude, my dude, you are missing out. That show is incredible. I just watched Garfield House, and oh my God, it's insane. Uh, it's a, a sketch comedy show on Netflix. Each episode is only like fifteen minutes long. You'd really like it. What's it called again? I've been trying to get leave. more people to watch it for a really long time. Yeah, I think you should leave. Okay, okay. Anyway, um, th I think Mild Gus is going to try and diffuse the situation of um, of Dream Belly kind of revealing this side of him to an outsider and say, um, well, Dream, Dream Belly does contribute a lot to the clan. Um, I don't actually know if you I'm do. I'm an info dude. I did info but he, he has gotten us through a couple tough winters. She rolls her eyes and sidles up as close as she can to Skunk Pelt without uh, recoiling in abject horror at his smell. Uh, Impressive. So, uh, <laughs> how are you doing then? Uh, I'm nervous and precautious about um, this mm -hmm. virus. I'm a little paranoid, if I'm going to be honest. Oh, nice. I'm, I'm going to be on the lookout, even though I'm... I'm not very good at it. I'm gonna try to be on the lookout for any symptoms or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Those symptoms being, of course. Hey, great question, by the way. Uh, <laughs> those symptoms. Of you know, course. excellent question. Really, really well posed. You know, they're cautious. Being a, a high temperature, Wasn't... new continuous cough and losses. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't ask any questions. I just wanted to. <laughs> no, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure there are cautious symptoms. Well, if it was a question, it was. Oh, a did you say one of the, one of the symptoms was? Um, lack of taste, right? Yeah. I just, June, June Bailey just wants you all to know that if that happens, I want you. I want he wants you to shoot him in the back of the head and leave him in a dumpster. Life <laughs> <laughs> will not be worth living anymore. Stick him in the tray. Yeah. Come <laughs> in a bin bag. Stick him in there. Just put him on the side of the road. Honestly, mm. someone will pick him up. All right. How about oh. yourself? What, do you, what are your thoughts and feelings on what's going on right now? Bud Light is taken aback. She is not used to people asking questions about herself, but she does offer up some rather quiet responses in regards to life in Shadow Clan. She uh, mentions, oh, I'm a little bit apprehensive about, you know, the. I have to 
I have an apprentice, right? Feather catcher. I'm not gonna say he's useless, but I'm gonna imply it, and I feel a little bit <laughs> I mean, guilty you that. Just said it. Hmm? I mean, you essentially just said it. Well, yeah, but I, I didn't like say it. Say it, you know. It was more of a, yeah. It's talking. It's talking to me. More or less tacit. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, guys. I'll I'll just drop piss whisker. Hey, you know what's good? Lasagna piss whisker. <laughs> <laughs> right. Feathercatcher, like, like you know, Feathercatcher has a good heart, but, you know, I just feel like his head might not be in the game, especially, you know, the fact that, you know, the most experienced medicine cat isn't around when Beige Cough is going, and, you know, I I really wish that I wasn't the only Shadow Clan cat that stepped up, you know, I understand. Yeah, that was kind of weird. It was not very cash money of them. I thought at least, like, Shut Eye or Red Sky would, sorry, those named rhymes. Isn't that kind of wacky? Sorry. Um, Shut Eye or like Dew Shimmer would say something about it, but you know, even those guys were a little bit too. Uh, what was the word you guys used? Uh, scaredy Cat to go on this? Yeah, Scaredy Cat. Scaredy okay. Cat. I just want to make sure that everything is okay. We've got an elder um, in our camp who's got Beige Cough right now, and I'd really be worried if anything happened to him. He, he basically yeah. raised me. His name is Smokeweed, and uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Every day. So so Smokeweed raised Bud Light. Mm -hmm. All right, just making sure I got that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> notes. um. Well, uh, I know it's it's worrying for a medicine cat to be away from their clan during these times, but um, I'm very um, I, I'm I'm happy to have a experience medicine cat along with us for this mission she uh, twitches her whiskers in appreciation i do want to mention that when when she did say that there was an ill cat near her i i took a step back and like pulled piss whisker back with me and i kind of want to keep my distance from now on yes <laughs> wouldn't that make things interesting oh so before long you find yourselves in a little bit of a thicket uh, it seems like there are quite a lot of prey around, and all of you who aren't Dream Belly are feeling a little bit peckish. Do you guys want to pause and hunt, or do you guys want to keep going so as to uh, not waste any time? That was pretty presumptuous to say he's not peckish. Is the lasagna mm, here? There's no lasagna here. Do you know what a thicket is, Alex? What? A, a thicket? It's, it's, a a bunch of, thicket? it's a bunch of bushes. Yeah, I, I know what a thicket is. I was just asking, is the lasagna here? Asking asking character. Roll perception for lasagna. Yeah, roll perception for lasagna, please. <laughs> I was asking in character. I know what a thicket is. All right, well, I, in character, then, roll perception for lasagna. Is there even a perception? Oh, maybe smell. Let's do smell or see. Yeah. With oh, disadvantage, because I'm new. <laughs> <laughs> The same works for seeing when you're near when you're near Dream Belly. You can't see past them. This is the actual worst cat since I've been Thundercut. Yeah, I'm going to push over. Yes. We all have some terrible traits. Oh. That's what makes for good characters, John. Yeah, John. One, of us is one, of us, one of us stinks. One of us is dumb and the other one is weak. It's just the worst. I got two. Okay. If, if we only meant to roll one there dice. Well, you do not find any lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> I think you actually know what lasagna, what lasagna is yeah. entirely. Actually, for, yeah. for the two. concept has been deleted from your brain. <laughs> I know the word, but not the food. Am I meant to just roll one d6? Is that correct? It would, it would be a d20, but it doesn't matter, because there isn't any lasagna in oh, the thicket. Oh, no. Whatever you Natural know. 20. There's I, no lasagna. I genuinely got a 20. <laughs> it doesn't matter. There's, there's no lasagna. There's no lasagna. <laughs> <It's not 20. laughs> All right, fine. You see a lasagna-shaped bush. <laughs> you gain... lasagna. Not, fine. You you gain a deeper understanding of what lasagna is for a natural <laughs> twenty. So you now you now know more than just the word lasagna. You, you now know that there are tomatoes involved in it. You smell some basil around. <laughs> so I guess we're stopping the hunts then, aren't we? Do you guys want to stop the so hunts? What is um what is Bud Light's stance on hunting right now? Bud Light is ambivalent. She thinks that uh, hunting could happen at the end of the day when it's time to sleep, or potentially it could happen now, and they might be able to stave off sleeping for a little while. Why not longer. both? Is my stance? I'm, well, we are on a time you're... constraint. Yeah. yeah. yeah I think, I think we should. Yeah. Dies. Forward march. I agree. All right. You gotta promise that we time for it later. Right? What about second breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, in that case, you guys keep going into the forest across the. Uh, along the stream. Curling vines hold on to the occasional trees and you pass by a hodgepodge of flowers which claim quiet corners and enhance the otherwise green views. You can all agree it's a sight to see and a pleasure for the whole divine. Um, however, huh? as you continue, you uh, come across a little bit of a clearing and in this clearing you find a stump 
with a single lily growing outside of it. Like, like... Like, in the to, middle of like, the stump. Oh, okay. Okay. Would I know anything about this? Uh, well, you have some kind of interpretations as to the cues of Star Clan, so you might be able to recognize something. That's why I'm pointing it out. Because you, there is a medicine cat. You have you have interpret dreams here, and there is a medicine cat in the party. Yeah, I have medicine more and interpret dreams as, mm -hmm. as an axe. So, could I figure anything out about this? Yes. All right. Can I get a closer look at it then? Yes. All right. I, I do said thing. I walk over the stump and examine it and the lily and the surroundings of it. You find the stump is an old and withered artifact made from oak and chopped down many years ago from the. Uh, what seems to be a rusty two-leg axe that you can almost see in the corner of your eye buried beneath some other flowers, um, with some wood rotting away next to where the uh, axe head is. Uh, the lily itself is a strange thing. It is peeking through the middle of the stump as though it has split it open somehow. And uh, it, while most lilies have themselves a rather blue color, this color seems to be almost beige. Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to notify a specialized medicine cat. Uh, Bud Light, um, this lily is beige. Bud Light pa uh, pads over and takes a look at it. Oh, sh she says. This can only mean one thing. Lily Star must have caught beige. Oh, no. Oh, no. Lily Star. Yeah, who's Lily, Lily Star? Lily Star is the leader of Shadow Clan. I know you guys don't care about that because, like, you're Thunder Clan cats, but now I kind of have a vested interest in. Moving this along as soon as possible, if you guys don't mind. Uh, not at all. It's good to save as many lives as we can. Right. I've already started walking away. All right. You guys continue through the forest. Thin tree limbs grasp the occasional tree and a variety of flowers which cling to any space they can find at playful elements to the otherwise brown and green scenery. I'm reading off of forestdescriptiongenerator.com. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, this is very impressive improv. Yeah. Like, yeah. all these descriptions you're doing. Like, like, the vines curl around the big tree mine, chunks of but the oak It's trees. all about having good tools. Right? It is. It really is. You gotta know how, you know how to use them. Uh, as you carry on, you eventually find yourself at a part where the forest parts and makes way towards a small hill. There is an eerie silence as you uh, step onto the plain, and a peaty smell fills your scent ducts in your mouths, which cats have, according to these books. What is peaty? Peat is, um, it's a kind of biological waste. Okay. It's like dead grasses and stuff in a, a marshy oh, environment. Can I spell it over Noah's cat smell? Do we notice it? Is it that bad? Um, the cats that are furthest away from Noah's cat uh, can smell it. <laughs> so, depending on how the party is oriented, which I wouldn't presume to know. Marching guys, order. Yeah, well, marching order doesn't really matter because we're in a three-dimensional space, right? We're not, like, going down a hallway. Yeah. Depending, it's, it's noticeable for sure. Like, some cats are able to notice it unless everybody is clustered around skunk pelt, which I assume they're not. Mm. No, that would be. I would probably either be alone or probably talking to Bud Light, if anything. All right. Yeah, the whole time I've kind of taken the duty of making sure uh, Piscuisker doesn't just walk off in the wrong direction. So I <laughs> Did you say thank you? The stream. Uh... I said I do. I do walk off in the wrong, wrong direction. All right. The, the the stream carries on past the hill, but there is a certain je ne sais quoi, um, which is French for I don't know what. By the way, you guys don't know that like, in character. I'm just explaining that to you as humans, because I know that none of you speak French at all. Thanks. What? Thanks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's an eerie environment. You guys find yourselves unsettled by the wide open space. Is there lasagna here? Uh, roll to find lasagna. Okay. Uh, okay. Seventeen. All right. There is still no lasagna. There. <laughs> oh no! I don't know what you expect, Alex. I I genuinely am unable to to figure out what it is. Now you about. know how I feel, Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Uh, what are you guys gonna do here? So we're at we're at a. Um... I'm going to stop. I'm say I'm gonna stop. Piss whisker and say piss whisker. I, I don't think we're gonna find anything worth eating. Sorry. I don't think we're gonna find anything worth eating here. Well, not with that attitude. All right. So is is this the location we were intending to go to, or is yeah, this an so obstacle? This is uh this is in fact the hill that cries, but it doesn't. Oh, sound it's a swamp. Okay. 
Were we directed to go to were, here or in this direction? This was the direction. So now the di now you've found the direction, but you're not like how are you gonna proceed? Is the question. Mm. I start shouting, "Hey, hey, what are we doing here, Star Cats? Like, <laughs> show us some guidance, please." <laughs> what happens? Anything happens? No like, reply. Like shoots you a look and hisses. They're called Star Clan, but I guess you wouldn't know that because you're a freaking. I shush. I shush him. I shush. I shush her. I mean. Just stop misgendering Bud Light. I just really do not have time to remember any details about her. So, any response? Can I can I roll? Is there anything? There is no response from Star Clan. Or I turn around and say, I'm out of ideas. Sorry, guys. Can I roll uh, smell so to see if I smell dead? Right? Yes, you can. To see if I smell it over my stench? Yeah, roll smell. That would be intelligence plus your smell modifier for some reason. 14. Alright. Uh, there is a, a strange sort of God, what's the word? Acrimonious. Yeah, I guess acrimonious. Acrimonious would normally be to to dis, uh, to, to talk about like a, a person's disposition or attitude or like you know that they're a very hateful person. But I would say the cats, when they smell this, would it feels like a very hateful smell. You know, if this was if this was a if this smell was a person, it would be the, the KKK. Oh. Towards this was on the other side of the uh. hill, there's a very strong smell, uh, and it's one that you more or less recognize from your days in ThunderClan. Uh, it is a, it's a thunder path, uh, which is a, a large kind of blackened flat area where the two legs ride it's their bird. monsters through. It's a bird. <gasps> Oh, guys, no, oh I know path. about the. Do you guys smell that thunder path? I know I'll stand away from you guys for a little bit, but oh, like, hey, can you guys exactly. smell that? So here's here's the thing about these is that they actually they have these like signals that stop that make them stop basically. So there's a time when you can cross a thunder path and there won't be any monsters. You just need to know how to read the symbols, and that's why you brought me. Please. Bud Light lifts an eyebrow. And girls. I don't know if cats have eyebrows. I'll have to look into that later. <laughs> Bud Light. I think they have weird eyebrow whiskers. Yeah, that they do. They get really long in the world. Yeah, that's true. They also have a brow. I would say they have brows, right? That's just a part of the skull. Yeah. All right. Do you guys want to head towards the thunder path? Follow the I think that's our best hint so far. So yeah. All right. I I, I walk ahead confidently. <laughs> you guys, you guys follow Piss Whisker in uh, sorry Dream Belly. In various yeah. stages of better judgment, <laughs> you start to, as you get closer, you uh, find a very strange area. Of course, you come across the thunder path, and it is just as hateful as you imagined. And you all think, in your own unique cat ways, "Wow, if this was a human, it would be the KKK." Mm. However, <laughs> as you draw nearer, you find that there are a group of two-legged monsters that have veered off of the thunder path onto this sort of beaten road, uh, a kind of marshy swampland, and it appears as though they're going in circles of some kind, or something like that, while a group of two legs nearby hurl uh, their yowls and, and screams at them. Wait, wait, are the two so legs are they on foot? Do you have meaning a motorcycle? Some of the, some of the two legs are, are on foot. Some of them are in the monsters, and they're going around in these strange formations. It's, it almost looks like they're trying to drive them into So I other. say, guys, I've got this. I'm gonna go ask them some questions. Go ahead. So I will- Be, I be walk. careful, Dream Valley. Be careful. I'm always careful. They love me. The people love me. So I, I, I go up to the ones that are not on machines, and I say, in the, in the best I can, excuse me, humans. Um, oh, no, I don't know they're called that. Excuse me, two legs. Um, so, we're, we're looking for some kind of solution because we have a problem and that problem is that all our, all our people are getting ill um, do you have anything in, we're told to come here to dodge <laughs> huh we to dodge oh. that would probably be jump today. Will Dreambelly survive the two-leg attack? Will the group cross through the Thunderpath? Will they be able to get back in time to rescue Garfield and Smokeweed from Beige Cough? Who knows? But anyways, I sincerely hope you enjoyed this episode of Four Trees and our bumbling attempts to play the adventure game. I recognize this roleplay might not be serious or hardcore enough for some, and to them I apologize. Our group just has a different definition of fun. 
In the meantime, the next episode will be released about a week from now, and if you enjoyed it, then please drop me a line on Twitter or something to let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for listening to Fortrees, our Warrior Cats community podcast. I've been your host, Spencer Grant. Fortrees is recorded live in front of a studio audience at Druid's Hollow Studios here in Bristol. Our theme was composed by Spencer Grant and arranged by Jerry Mousman. Be sure to listen right up until the end for the extended version. Our 3D assets were designed by Spencer Diablo Grant, and our 2D assets were designed by Lily Tran at Cardinal Mask. Our editor is Spencer Pagliacci Grant. Post sound is by Alex Turner. The Warrior Cat series is written by Aaron Hunter and distributed by HarperCollins. Please support the official release. Special thanks for these episodes goes out to the players Noah, Otto, Alex, and John. Thank you guys so much. You can find us at the web at spencergrant.co.uk slash fortrees or wherever you get your podcasts. And you can find our YouTube uploads with auto-generated subtitles and audio visualizations at youtube.com slash spencergrant. Again, I've been Spencer, and you have been beautiful. Bye!